we use a lot of energy. Only 8% of the energy we consume is renewable. Of that 8%, only 1% is solar powered. In the natural world, nearly all life collects energy from the sun, either directly or indirectly through photosynthesis. Photosynthesis transforms light, water, and carbon dioxide into chemical energy. This process powers the very smallest single-celled organisms, like algae, to the largest species on Earth, the giant sequoias. The rate of energy captured by photosynthesis is immense, approximately 100 terawatts, which is about six times larger than the power consumption of the entire human civilization. When looking for an abundant, clean, renewable energy source, photosynthesis is a great place to start. Before we can harness the power of the sun, we first need to study it. The Photosynthetic Antenna Research Center, or PARC, is a group of 11 universities and national labs dedicated to the research and study of photosynthetic antenna systems. PARC's area of research is, as the title says, the antenna system. These are the light gathering complexes that are found in natural photosynthetic organisms. We're, we're use inspired fundamental research. So ultimate goal is, is that you want to, in, in our case, you want to be able to capture light energy, deliver it efficiently to some place where some type of chemistry or photocurrent, hydrogen production, whatever you want to drive whatever type of solar application you want. And that's what we ultimately want to be able to do. So if you want to think of it as kind of a timeline and we are at the very early stage of that timeline where we're doing the discovery research. So what we would like to be able to do is basically, if we could say it, we want to know everything there is to know about light harvesting, to be able to tailor light harvesting systems. If somebody wants to absorb blue to red light and deliver it to some place with a, with, a, with a complex that has certain chemical characteristics so that it could be appended to their downstream chemistry, we want to be able to be able to do that. Park has the research organized into three thematic areas. Theme one involves the natural antenna complexes found in different types of photosynthetic organisms. So in theme one, they're really looking at the antenna complexes and the size and of them and the different types and along the solar spectrum where are they ab absorbing and what happens if I change the size of the antenna or if I make a slight change or modification does it really change how much of the solar spectrum they're absorbing because if we can increase the efficiency of the natural process of photosynthesis that can have implications down the line. Theme two is biohybrid antenna complexes um, the biohybrid antenna, its main purpose is to combine synthetic molecules with bio mimics of the biological proteins to come up with antenna systems that can um, mimic and learn from what um, nature does, but add um, man-made components to hopefully do better than what happens uh, in the natural systems. So as my colleague, one of the PIs, John Lindsay says, this is an effort to combine the best of biology and the best of chemistry to surpass nature. And then theme three are the bio-inspired antennas, and these are completely synthetic. So it's not only synthetic chromophores made in the Lindsay lab, but also synthetic peptide assemblies called maquettes that are made by a group at the University of Pennsylvania. And one of the ideas there is to be able to construct antenna complexes to harvest solar energy, deliver the energy to a specific place very efficiently, but in this case, totally synthetic, things that you wouldn't have found in nature. PARC is really a worldwide organization. We have uh, principal investigators from uh, 10 different places in the U.S. and two universities in the U.K. and we have research affiliate members from really all over the world. It's, it's really essential that you be able to collaborate because know the expertise that's necessary, the broad expertise in a variety of areas, and um, those expertise cannot exist in one lab and they have to be brought together. Uh, our outreach takes a few formats, so we have outreach that focuses on teachers, uh, outreach that focuses on students, outreach that focuses on students who are in K-12 schools as well as our undergraduate students at Washington University. Teachers come to campus and we offer uh, workshops where we have one of our park 
members talk about the research that they're doing. Then we transition into the laboratory to do hands-on inquiry-based activities around that content that they can then take back to their students. During school, students learn a series of facts and that's what they think science is. Through the work that we do at PARC, I think it's really exciting because we show them that what's discovered in science isn't over and there's so much we still don't know and that the scientific field is changing all the time and they really have a lot that they could contribute to. The possibilities are vast, but the research needs to start somewhere. And what better place to start than in the place where photosynthesis begins, the light harvesting antenna of photosynthetic organisms.